what is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on my video be sure to subscribe to my channel hit the bell right next to the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because it sure will deserve it and if you are yet again coming back to click another one of tara j's videos thank you so much for being such a loyal viewer and i truly appreciate you as you can see from the title i'm giving you another review on some brown liquor of course whiskey because i am a whiskey girl and if any company of whiskey wants to sponsor me definitely holla at me make me a for real life whiskey girl and i would love that because i mostly drink nothing but whiskey unless i'm on some cheap stuff and i just get some cheap liquor but i would definitely prefer brown liquor any day of my life okay but yeah guys let's go ahead and tap right into it let's talk about the liquor and see what i think okay All right, guys, so this is the one that I will be talking about today. This is Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, okay? This is 40% alcohol, 800, um, 880 proof. Clearly, I can't read. Clearly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a shot of it. I'm going to take a good shot of it, and then I'm going to get another bottle and i'm not about another bottle but another cup of it but i'm gonna put some coke in it because of course i love coke i talk about how much i love coke so much but <laughs> every single time i'm talking about coke or every single time i'm doing a video like this i always get pepsi like i'm not even lying i got coke now and i really love coke over pepsi just like i'm more of a seven up kind of person i don't really like sprite i like seven up um that makes me i guess that's because i'm special i'm cut from a different cloth okay the basics like pepsi and sprite you gotta be real kind of an exclusive kind of be to like seven up and coke okay <laughs> and if you mad right now you hate okay but anyways this is the gym beam bourbon whiskey i'm going to get my shot and see what it's like, okay? My necklace ain't showing. I need to see the cross, okay? I love wearing this necklace. It's just so simple and it gives me everything I need just from the simple cross. You know what? I've grown up and I've had a cross. Let me go ahead and take my shot. I said I was gonna take it, let me take it. I'm stalling, right? Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> that went down hot. But anyways, um Ooh, that went down hot. It's still moving. I feel it. Ooh. So as you can see that I give that a that would be number four. I think I've done four total. And out of all of them, the smoothness of it, that would be like the last on the list. Ooh, it's still going down. I feel it's still moving. All the other ones didn't do that. What did I do? The Will Reserve. I did another one. All the other ones I cannot remember. But if you want to know, it'll be up here at the top for you to check it out. But yeah, um, it did not go down like this. This is still going down. Ooh, it's all hot in my chest. Ooh, it's hot. It is making me hot in the room just in period. <laughs> That was my first shot of the night. That was actually my first drink of liquor in a whole week. Like, I don't really be drinking on the weekdays like I used to. I haven't even, I got this new wine from Oregon that I want to tell you guys about. And I haven't even opened it up because I just haven't been really in a mood for liquor lately. But I thought, let me pop this bad boy open here and let me let y'all know what I think about it. Because I haven't had Jim Beam in a while. Probably because of what this the the effect that it's doing to me so but anywho i was telling you guys about this cross around my neck do you know that i've worn a cross around my neck for practically my whole life it always changes it's silver it's bronze it's gold it's small it's big i wrote a cross close to my heart and close to my my chakras because i think it's just necessary i think that everyone should have some kind of cross 
and some kind of something that ties them to their beliefs, their whatever, you know, it's like a significant thing that is necessary. For me, you may feel differently and some people may feel differently, but I know that no matter what, if I lose this, I'm going to replace it. That's one thing that I must have. I don't really wear jewelry like that, but when I do wear jewelry, what is this? like lint like what the hell but yeah when i do wear jewelry i make sure that this is always one of the things that is in my lineup of choices so because i'm one of those i like to be simple i'll put on a cute necklace and if anything i'll have on earrings but it's times where i don't even have on earrings but i would definitely make sure i have on a necklace so what i've lately been doing i'm trying to get into tune with my rings and wearing some cute rings and stuff like that so I'm getting, I told myself I was going to get my femininity together in 2021. So I've been getting dressed every day, which is, I'm so proud of myself. I've been just getting my life. Like, I'm still trying to maintain my eyebrows. I've got to get a strict schedule on when it's time to arch my eyebrows again. So they don't go and be looking crazy and then they have my face looking crazy. Because when you're wearing a mask, of course, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me pour me another drink, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach y'all something. I'm going to give y'all a lesson. And I'm going to watch this go down hot. I'm not taking another shot if that's what you're thinking. Because it ain't happening. I'm not. I'm going to put a, a little bit of coke in here. And a little bit of gym bean. Ooh. That's, it's still hot on the inside. Ooh. And I don't even think that was a shot, actually. I swallowed that like three different times. Like... At least I could have did it twice. I swallowed it three times. So that was like a shot and a half, probably. I'm pretty sure it was. Like, people would just be sending me off. It's like something right here. Like, I gave myself a... I, I saw it. Did you see that white thing? I saw that shit. But I gave myself a facial this morning. And, well, not this morning. Like, a little while ago. And, like, a little bit got up in my hair. Cause y'all see this like this shit it just won't let me be great normally y'all see how fine my face look like it just looks be it means it looking glamorous but today is like what the f and you know what i think it is it's just because um when i'm working i don't really pay attention to how um if my hands are dirty or not and i tend to like mess with my mask or pull it up or pull it down and when i'm i can't find the eraser when I'm writing on the dry erase board, I tend to wipe it off with my fingers and then I mess it with my mask. And and that's what happens. That's what happens. My face didn't went through hell and back this week. My lips, I peeled my lips and I did all kind of shit like that. And guess what? Guess what? I can't remember what I was talking about before. <laughs> I started pouring my bottle because I said, I mean, I'm not pouring my drink. Because I said, hold on, give me a second. Let me pour my drink up and let me tell y'all what I think about this let me teach y'all a lesson but what was the lesson about though like what was i talking about i'm not gonna remember as i go back and watch this video y'all like that's oc right like oc i'm trying to think about it give me a second uh, i'm drawing a blank i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't remember but yeah i think i'm getting old I, I swear it's something like i swear i don't do drugs y'all i swear it's not the drugs say hello to drugs kids okay i don't do drugs i just i'm very forgetful but on another note though i want to show y'all my painting like i just painted some shit the other day with my fingers like on some raw i'm raw i'm raw i'm raw that's it that's just simple it's just simple as that i'm raw i did i used these four fingers to paint this painting if you tell me who can do that, tell me who you know can paint a painting with their fingers. Okay? Let me know. Comment below and let me know who can paint a painting with their fingers. Because nobody. I look cute, though. Even with these two goofy-ass bumps on my face. I look cute. I look cute. <laughs> let me know I look cute, y'all. Comment below. Let me know. Because I know I do. Even when I'm... I don't even be laying down my edges. Like, that's how... That's how I know I gotta have haters. Like, I'd be fan. Fan as hell. It's just not late. Still be fan as hell. Two bumps on my face. Still be half fan as hell. One of my nails broke. Not right now, though. I'm on 10 right now. I'm on fleek. Pew, pew, pew. 
People don't even use sleek. Like, I'm lame. I swear to God, I'm lame. If you knew me in real life, you'd be like, you lame. But you know what? Get me out. Get me. Keep me in the water and keep me afloat. I'm a bad bitch. I'm cute. Yes. Like, who does that with their eyebrows? Me. People gonna be like, who do this shit? They be like, Tara? Tara J? All the motherfuckers in the world that do weirdo shit. Because I'm a weirdo. I'm okay with that. But anywho. Ooh, even the half of my face fan. Look at that. But anywho, I want to show you guys my um my painting. I remember I did this with four of my fingers because I'm raw. Raw. Like R-A-W. <laughs> I'm raw, right? I did this and you say, no, you didn't. Bitch, no, you didn't. You ain't do that shit with your fingers. But I did, though. Like, real life. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, I really did paint this shit with my fingers. I want y'all to see it again. Hold on. Hold on, okay? I'm trying to get the whole shot in the camera, but it's a struggle. It is. Ooh, it, oh, you wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Let me know what y'all think of my pain. Comment below. I'm going to let y'all look at it for a second. Moment of silence. Y'all done? All right. For real though, I actually did it with these four fingers right here. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I swear to God, I wish I knew how to play the piano. My um, my niece and nephew taught me how to play one little record. <laughs> and it's like, they taught me the keyboard or whatever, how to, how to remember the, the places of the keyboard and shit. And I think they say it, it starts with C. It's like C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C, D. So this finger right here will always be the C, but the top of it will. Oh, uh, uh, look! I don't know. Like I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm right. I'm not even lying. I feel like I'm right. If you had a keyboard, it'll always be C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Back again. C, D. So they was teaching me some shit, and it was like do 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 do. Now I have to move my finger over. Do 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 do. So let me show you. Do 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 do. Wait. Do 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 do. Wait. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I think it's like, oh, so this is, I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm freaking out. I'm going to call. I'm like, what is this again? But, so it's like, do, 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 do. And then I would move it over a little bit. And I'd be like, do, 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 do. The sound is wrong when you're hearing it on the keyboard. Because it, it sounds wrong. Like, do, 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 do. No. Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I forgot again. Hold on. It's like this. Do 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 do, and then you move up one. It's like do 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 do. It's raw. It's raw. I swear. The next time I date, the next time I'm over there, and I'm gonna tell them to do it. I'm gonna tell them to record myself, <laughs> record me doing this, so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm not lying. I'm not making this shit up. I swear I'm not. They raw. They can they can play the piano. My niece can play the piano, and she can play the violin as well. You guys wanna know what I wanna play? I know how to play. The Wii. <laughs> Guitar Hero, God damn it, rock band, the drums on rock band, Guitar Hero, like real life, real, real shit. And it's so unfortunate because when I was a kid, I wish I knew how to, um, it's so unfortunate because when I was a kid, I wish I knew how to play some kind of instrument. Like my brother was coming in the house with this big old, you know them trombones? But it's like big, big as a motherfucker. It's big as me. And it used to be so irritating. Like, it used to be like, <laughs> I remember him carrying that shit on the bus because we was, you know, another poor back, black family, right? He used to carry <laughs> that big ass instrument on the bus from, from home to school, to school to home every day. A trombone, like I'm not even lying. Let me, I can't even, I can't even look it up because I'm recording on my phone. But look it up. I believe it's called. A, I'm not even. Yeah, it's called. It gotta be called a trombone. It gotta be them big, big, stupid old instruments. Like, who, first of all, let me talk about my brother for a second. Like, who, who wants to play an instrument like that? Like, you gotta be like mad weird to want to play like an instrument like that. I love my brother for to death, like for life or whatever. Like, that's my, my, my. It's boom cool. My, my, my. You know. 
you know, my brothers know I be loving them, but I be talking about them. <laughs> but anywho, let me finish telling you about him. He used to play this trombone. It was like a, I would say a clarinet, but wait. Is it the clarinet? What's that instrument that Lisa Lisa Simpson play? Is that a clarinet? Let me know if it's a clarinet. So yeah, imagine the the, the instrument Lisa Simpson play, right? I know y'all watch The Simpsons, cause if you don't, you learn. It gotta go strike you down right now. But anywho, the the instrument. So it was like fifty times bigger than that. But it was shaped like that. Like, so that was, that was my that was my comparison, basically. What's Lisa Simpson got to do with that? I don't know. I was just trying to give you guys an example of what it what I'm talking about. If um look at it, I just pour it way too much. But um I was trying to give you guys an example. It's still too much, right? This shit just spilled on my toes. Jesus Christ. But anywho, I was trying to give you guys a fucking example of what the fuck a trombone look like when in fact you can because i didn't want y'all to stop watching the video so i want y'all to stop and just like google a trombone unless you're gonna come back and finish watching it like don't um don't go google trombone trombone did i say trombone in the beginning now i feel like i'm pronouncing it wrong i don't even know because i be pronouncing hella shit wrong all the time like i got some ear problems like I'm, I, I might have a fucking ear in it I, a hearing aid, a hearing aid. What the fuck is it called? What? <laughs> a hearing aid. I'm not even lying. I'm not. I might. I might. And I be thinking that, and I be like, oh, this is the reason why I talk so loud. Like y'all probably don't think I talk loud on here because obviously it's like you watching this on your phone, and I'm on my phone, and the volume and the audio things it fluctuates and it tweaks and it does whatever the fuck it does because of technology and shit. But in real life, like. Sometimes I'd be like, damn, like I'm loud as hell. But I don't, that don't be my intentions. It, it really, really don't be my intentions. I'd be thinking like, I'm talking regular, like in my class. My kids like, why are you yelling at me? And I'd be like, oh my God, like, am I really yelling at you? That's not my intention. I'm so sorry. So I'd be having to come down like, oh my God, how's this? Is that, is that, is that better? Is that better for you? Is it better? Because I didn't know I was yelling. I was just talking so everyone can hear me. I don't know. I'm trying. Like right now, like I'm. Part of me don't feel like I can hear myself. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of that, speaking of speaking of that, y'all. Speaking of that, like speaking of that, like I just also, like I be I get so mad when I cannot hear myself think. Do y'all ever feel like that? Like comment below if you feel like. <laughs> It shit, shit just be too loud around you. Like, you can be the loudest motherfucker in the room, but if some shit is just way too loud in your ear, you get mad. I get mad. I It's like mad. I get mad to the point where if somebody call me before 9 o'clock in the morning, that's I get mad. Like, somebody called me yesterday morning at, like, 6.50 a.m. And, like, you gotta, you, there's no way you can possibly be in Chicago and you calling me at this time because it's you aware if you're in Chicago and you calling me, that means you're aware and I'm aware that it's 6.50 fucking a.m. in the motherfucking morning. So you are a psychopath. Why are you calling me that early in the morning? What do you want? Okay. So, of course, I didn't answer it. And that means they didn't want anything because they didn't leave me a voicemail. It was some... I think they was like in Pennsylvania. Well, I don't know no fucking body in Pennsylvania. So, it had to be some BS. Meanwhile, you know what's so funny? I used to work at this warranty company, right? Where I used to have to call. Well, you know what? I didn't have to call people until the end of my time there. But the entire time, they sent out mail to people. If y'all... <laughs> I'll laugh at this because he used to be crazy. But if y'all um, ever received phone calls or mail talking about your car, this is your final, this is your final alert. I'm letting you know that your car warranty and... Is about to expire. First of all, <laughs> let's talk about that. First of all, you ain't even got no warranty on your car plate to expire, anyways. <laughs> Secondly, you don't even own the car that they're talking about. Like it'll be a car that you searched in 1988 and shit that you would consider you was considering on buying. 
But you ended up buying this Mitsubishi over here. But you, they calling you about a fucking, a fucking Honda, Honda Civic. But you ended up getting some other shit. And you like, nigga, I don't even own that car. What are you even talking about? Like, it just be like in the system. If you search or say, for instance, you go to CarMax and you're like, oh, okay, I'm just getting a quote or whatever. Boom. Your, your, your stuff locked in the system just like that. And y'all don't even know, like, companies be selling people information. I'm not even lying. Like, I work for this company and I am very aware that <laughs> people sell information. Well, if you log your information into the system, you boom, you stuck and you into the system. It was, it's hilarious because I never in my life received any kind of warranty calls. Ever, like, ever in my life. But then again, I didn't have a car for somebody to be calling me about warranty. So, it could have just been that I didn't have a... Let me think about that for a second. It could have been. <laughs> it could have been that I just did not have a car for somebody to be calling me about some bullshit warranty. And I got a car now, and they calling me about some more bullshit warranty. But the funny thing is, is that even the whole entire time where I was working i ended up buying a car while i was working at the warranty company right and the whole entire time they were calling while i was working at that warranty company i never received any calls about warranty like i'm not lying i'm not lying if i'm lying god kill strike me down right now but i swear to god i'm not lying but as soon as i like I ain't gonna say i quit because i didn't quit i um <laughs> i got fired from the company over some goofy ass reasons because motherfuckers be hating but um yeah i got fired from the company i hated working there anyway so i wasn't i didn't lose no sleep um after that i got a new car well no 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 while i was working i got the car it was a bullshit car bullshit company so after that uh i still had that bullshit car and i never received calls until like really 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 late in the end of me having the car but now that i got a different car like my first dealership car hey it's the first car i bought from the dealership like i'm raw i'm raw y'all i swear to god if you don't you know me personally if you come to chicago let tara j know and we'll hang out okay you will know that i'm raw Unless you like a weirdo, like a creep. Like, don't be a creep. Like, I'm cool for making new friends. But if you're a creep, you can just leave that creep shit with yourself. Okay? But, yeah. So, now that I got a new car or whatever, stay tuned for the trailer. I mean, not the trailer, but the car tour, the decoration video. All of that good stuff. I can't tell y'all what car I got. Because I want y'all to wait and see. I call it a Benz. It might be a Benz. And I call it a Benz. It might not be a Benz. And I still might call it a Benz. You never, you never know. You never know. But yeah. Some of y'all know. But I don't care. But anyway. um, The warranty companies. I just. I feel like I block five phone numbers a day. But you know what the, the thing is. They are required to call you. Every they were they are allowed i think it's like some kind of law that they are allowed to call you i think every two to three hours without it being considered like harassment that's oc right like you'll be cursing it I've, I've been cursed out so many times like somebody i had a lady call me a b i had a i had a lady tell me that she was my kid i can i can never forget that never in my life i'm gonna forget this old lady i know she was old because she sounded old on the phone old white lady she sounded like she was old and she sounded like she was white so she um told me um do i think it's a good idea to be calling her and blowing her phone up because of course it's other warranty companies that's calling you because but it probably was us no lie we'd be like hella stalking my, we, that, it was us at that time i'm not an us anymore but that company at that time because we we were calling people back to back i'm not even no friend and um she was like i hope your kids <laughs> i hope your kids um <laughs> get ran over by a car and they in traffic in the industry plan and they get ran by over by a car and they get ran over and they die i'm like damn lady like <laughs> all i did was call you to offer you some fucking car warranty and you coming at my kids my unborn kids like what like it was oc i was like lady if you got kids you should probably go check on your kids right now because god gonna strike them down because of you 
I get called cunts. I get called in the N word. I get called all kind of crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. And guess what I was doing? Thank you, click. <laughs> That's probably why I got fired. I was hanging up on motherfuckers. They, Cause they would have me fucked up. Like you're not finna talk to me no kind of way. And I ain't do nothing to you. And you telling me I can't hang up on these people? Hell no. I'm just talking to y'all. Y'all like hanging out with me because why not? I probably should do these more often. I just be talking. Talk to y'all ear off, right? What I'm talking about, I'm going from one conversation to the next. So y'all can honestly see how fast my brain be going. And it's so crazy because I got a, um, I got somebody that be telling me, my, like, oh, my brain goes so fast. This is going too fast. This is going too fast. And I'd be like, ooh, I can definitely relate because my brain goes so fast. Like, I think about so many things at once. I try to accomplish. I'm trying to accomplish so many things at once. I got so many goals that I want done now. Not and then I got so many things I'm tackling. Like my brain be right over there. Like I'm painting. I want to write a book. I want to create a picture book. I want to. I want to do YouTube videos. I want to teach. I want to. I want to do so many things, but I want to do them all at the same exact time so they all can bust and pop at the same exact time. Which means I would have five or six different incomes, and that's at the same time. Like I want to be like. Excuse me. I don't know. I want to be able to like. Do the fucking Matrix and the shit. Like, I want to just be raw. Like, I'm already raw, but I want to be raw as fuck. So, I'm trying to figure out a way. Uh-oh, I didn't drop. <laughs> it's, it's this thing right here I got my foot on. But it got hella shit in it. I hate, so, long story short, I hate phone socks. Like, hate folding socks. So, it's a bucket right here <laughs> with hella socks in it that I got my foot on. And I just knocked that shit over. So I socks fucking all over the fucking place. Oops. God damn it. And I'm not picking them up until I'm done with this shit. So, um, that's how much I hate socks. <laughs> I got to work today. I had on these, um, Tyler, you know, Tyler, y'all know Tyler Creator, uh, his golf shoes. So, of course, um, I ain't had no socks. <laughs> um, the, the lady at work like, and I know you ain't got no socks on. I know you ain't. I'm like, I sure don't. Like, <laughs> why would I wear socks? These are hot, hot pink ass shoes. What the hell? What I'm going to wear? Some white socks looking like a goofy? Or what I'm going to wear? Some black socks and look like a goofy. Which one? Which one would you prefer me to look? Goofy or goofy? Which one? Your choice. So, I ain't wear no socks. So, <laughs> let me tell you about this one time, though. What time? So, you know, I was... I be trying to get in my life, and I get dressed every day, right? And I be like, okay, let me put on something, put on some clothes. Because in reality, I will put on leggings every single day, and I will wear either. One day, I wear my high-top chucks, and the next day, I wear my low-top chucks. The next day, I wear my low-top chucks, and the next day, I wear my high-top chucks. And then the fifth day, I probably wear some different shoes. But I will still wear the same, the same outfit, basically. A hoodie and some leggings. A different hoodie and some leggings. Like, I literally got five hoodies that I can flex and I can do all, all mix it up in a week. And I would wear my leggings. <laughs> and I got like 10, 10, 10, 12 different leggings in the closet that I could just throw on. And I can go up on my day. That's how I used to do it. I used to throw that shit on. I'm like, oh, whatever. 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 And I, um, I was trying to get my life and trying to get my life together. So I be trying to. Put on clothes every day. Put my outfits together. Think about what I'm going to do. Get cute. All that good stuff. Okay? And I've been doing it. I've been killing it. Like, I'm going to um, do a What I Wore in a Week video very soon. Um, so, y'all can know that I ain't friend my move right now. And I'm going to be, I'm going to know I'm going to be cute. Because I'll be looking cute. I'll be looking cute. Like, I wore this all green outfit. I was trying to, do, I was trying to pull off this monochrome, monochrome look. Like like this right here. When it was cute. And you know what people you know how much people sleep on monochrome? Like they don't even know like what monochrome outfits look like. Like most are telling me, like, Oh, you look like you going hunting. You look like you just got out you went to the military school. No, nah, honey. I just got on two different, three different greens, okay? Because that's cute. <laughs> people just don't know. They ain't got no style. I remember when I ain't had no style. 
But my point of the matter of saying this is, one day I went to work with two different two different pairs of shoes on, and I did not even know until I got to work. What the fuck, right? Like, what kind of silly ass shit? I know, I know that's what you're thinking. Like, no, and it was not wacky wacky Wednesday. It was not mismatch day. I'm not even lying. I went to, because I, I looked in the mirror right here, my mirror right here, and I was like, okay, this is the outfit that I'm wearing. This is fly. This is fly. This is what I'm wearing. But it looks cute with this shoe, but it also looks cute with this shoe. And I made a decision mentally on what shoe I wanted to wear, but physically, I never changed that shoe. So I was like, I walked out the house. <laughs> I walk past all these W W. Ooh, why is it giving burping? Ooh, I don't like the fact that I'm burping with this. Like the other brown liquor was not having me burping, but I like the fact that I um. Uh, oh, what am I talking about? I like the fact that what? I don't, know, I don't even know what I like. I'm just saying something. But what I'm talking about is, oh, I left out the house with mismatched shoes on. I walk past all these W P people. It's always the same people outside walking their dog. So, which is, I, two things. I love it. I love the fact that I see the same people when I leave out the house. Or any time of the day, whatever, between the same hour, it's always the same four or five people. Either it's, it's always five of them that I see. I may not see all five of them at the same exact time. I may see number three this day. I may see number four this day. But I'm expecting one of those five people to be outside when I leave for work, which is awesome. I be I feel so safe. All the time. But I don't feel so safe, but I feel like I'm not the only person outside, if that makes sense. So, I'm thinking, okay, if you outside, you see me come out at this time all the time, roughly around this time all the time, basically. You see that I got on Miss my shoes. Why not? Even, even if you're not going to say nothing, look, look me dead in my eyes. And then look at my shoes. And then look me dead in my eyes again. Because I'm going to get it. Because that's what I do to people. When they be looking crazy, or I want to get them a hint that they got a boogie in their nose or something happening, I'm going to look at them in the dead of their eyes and I'm going to look at something that's OC on their body and I'm going to look them dead in their eyes again. And they get it every single time. It, But any other time, I'm straight up telling you you got a boogie in your nose because I be trying to look out for motherfuckers. I don't want you to walk around with something your, on, your, on your top of your lip. I don't want you to walk around with something in the boogie in your nose. I don't want you to be out here looking bad. So I would tell a stranger that you got to begin your nose just because I be looking out. I, I really be trying to look out because I be expecting people to look out for me. Because if you walk, you let me walk around with a boogie in my nose or you let me walk around with something fucked up on my face, that's going to be on you. You ain't, you ain't real. You is not real, okay? So don't do that to your friends. Don't let them walk around because you don't know how to tell them they got boogers in their nose. If you don't know how to tell your friend that they got boogers in your nose, you ain't really friends with them. I'm going to let you know that now. Yep, you. Yes. I can't wait to the summertime. Summertime shy is like no doubt the best time of all time. So if you have not been to Chicago during summertime shy, be sure. Ooh. Be sure to do that because it ain't nothing to play with. We got the the best not even lying. If you got a problem. So, I was about to do something else with my fingers, but I ain't going to do it. So, I'm holding. I think that anybody that I represent will hold it down and say, she not lying. Chicago the, got the best skyline, got the best summertime. And before you speak on it, make sure you come through and experience it. And I cannot wait. Why can't I wait? Because I cannot wait to wear like shirts like this. Because this is cute. And I'm going to get my shirts together. And I'm going to just be taking pictures all like this. Awesome. Okay. Look, my shoulders look cute. I got the little tattoo. So if you didn't know, this is when my mom passed away. She passed away. It says three. It's a star because I love stars and I love butterflies. If you have recognized my body in any kind of way, I got about... Four bodies. I mean, not four bodies. 
I got about four um butterflies on my body. I got about four stars. I love stars. I love shooting stars. I love all that good stuff. And um, I like butterflies too. And so this is a star that I have on my body, and it's also um Roman Roman numeral numerals. So this is three three three, obviously, right? So what does that stand for? So she passed away March third, two thousand and three. I've had this on my body since two thousand and three, maybe two thousand and four. I don't know, but I had it on my, no. 2004, I was in fucking, I'm lying. 2004, I was in fucking, I graduated eighth grade in 2000. 2004, that was four years before. I was in sixth grade. Y'all think I got a tattoo in sixth grade? No, I'm lying. I'm making that shit up. So, when did I go to college? 2010. So I got this about 2011-ish, <laughs> okay? I had, I mean, I had, so basically I've had this for 10 years now. Like, I, most of my tattoos are old. They, I ain't gonna say old and dusty, but they, they pretty old. Except for this one on my arm. Like, I get a whole lot of compliments on this. And they always ask me who I got, who I got, it, got it from and where I got it from and who did it. And I be like... <laughs> It's always they ask me is that new and I just be thinking like not really like I haven't had a new I haven't gotten a new tattoo in like the last three years and you know what I think about so much because like my I got a lot of tattoos on my back like my goal in life initially was to have my whole back tat filled and covered up and every time I see a beautiful woman with a clean back I'd be like damn like why the fuck would I do this to my back? But then every time I see a woman with like a full sleeve and that shit raw, I be like, yep, I got to do it. So I'm still like right in the middle and I'm still torn. So I don't think I would ever get that little laser tattoo remover thing. I also don't believe that I would ever get more tattoos on my back either. Like, it's it's possible that I would get a half sleeve still. I mean, I kind of, it's already growing. And I would, it's possible that I would still get a half sleeve or a full sleeve of this arm. But I won't touch my back again unless I'm getting cover-ups. I don't think I would add anything else to my back. And that is a, and that's the only thing why I haven't gotten laser because the times where the tattoo artist has worked on me, they worked on me when they were growing and they were developing their craft, which is kind of, I feel like it's cool. It's all love. Like I was able to help you be and get raw. But she, you should be giving me some kind of credit to fix these bogus ass tattoos. You raw as hell. Fix my shit. Fix fix what you did to me. Because this shit ain't cool. Fix the shit and make it look legitable. Okay? But they ain't got no respect. Like hairstylists. Hairstylists charge it for five hundred dollars to do a sewing. And you gotta come wash, blow dry it out, and braid it. Like what kind of crackhead ass shit is that? I couldn't do it. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. And that's another reason why I wear natural hairstyles. Because I can do this shit myself. Because I've been turned up on the motherfucker. Because they would have me fucked up. Because people be have, people just be having people fucked up. Just in general. Oh my god. This Jim Beam got me fucked up. I had two drinks in the shot. I may have poured too much. I may have not, I may have, not have poured enough. This thing in here. Playing 2K. On mute because I'm recording my video and I don't want this because they be these people in the TV these people in the TV like they in the TV for real these people on the other side of the the PlayStation that be playing against him they be loud or they be young like little kids or they be like extra loud or they be like this close to the microphone so they be sounding distorted and I be like oh my god turn that shit off. And of course, I need it to be muted because I'm recording my video. But I enjoy watching it sometimes. It's kind of cool. They in the backyard. or the... <laughs> I'm, It's not called the backyard. It's called the playground. They in the playground. What? It's called the playground. It's called the playground, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, the playground. 
He lost too. He mad. 2117. I'm gonna call me Taylor. 2117. <laughs> he lost. I'm done after this cup, y'all. I may have a cup off camera, but Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm a little tipsy. I'm a little tipsy. I was supposed to be making tacos. What time is it? Like, what time is it? Well, nah, I ain't got my watch on. My watch on the charger and it's not even plugged up. Like, you think I do crack, but I don't. I swear. I swear to God, I don't. Like, how is it? It's not even charging. But it's on the charger. It's 12.30. I'm up like a motherfucker. I'm happy. I'm so proud of myself because any other day, I'm like sleep, like sleep, sleep. Like I'm wide awake, like wide awake. And I'm be mad that I got to go to sleep. Damn, I didn't get to check my final steps from yesterday because of course it's 12.34. So today is now March 27. But y'all know I paid my car notes yesterday. And I was like real mad like y'all ever been pissed off for no reason like i was just pissed off for no reason just off the strength that i had to pay my car no like i don't want to like i don't want to do it like why i gotta do adult shit like why can't i be like on somebody insurance or do somebody paying buy me a car and paying off that shit you know why the fuck Yeah, I already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Why the fuck is these bumps on my face? Like, oh my God. I got one coming in down here too. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. I been talking y'all eat off and shit about nothing. Yeah, now this is a prime example of how fast my brain goes. It goes so fast. I'm thinking about so many things at once, and I gotta decide which one of those things I want to talk about. <sighs> I'm done, y'all. I'm finna take this out. But anywho, that's it, guys. This video was long. If you watch this video through, I truly appreciate you. You a real nigga or a real person, just in general. And, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I gotta go. It's late. I'm hungry. I got made some food for me to eat. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to show me some love. Comment below. Give me some LOLs. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you tell me I'm cute or whatever you want to do because y'all good for that. Because I know I'm cute. Thank you. <laughs> and don't forget, like I said, to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell right next to the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because why not? And of course, as you know it, I'm Tyra J and I'm out. Peace.